श्री गणेश सारदा गुरुभ्यो नमः रामाय राम भद्राय रामचंद्राय वेधसे रघुनाथाय नाथाय सीताय पतये नम वेलकम टू ऑल फॉर दिस सेशन ऑन रामायण टू चैप्टर टू ऑफ अयोध्या कांडा इन प्रीवियस चैप्टर वी हैव सीन ग्रेट क्वालिटीज ऑफ रामा व्हिच मेड हिम वेरी मच डियरर टू हिज सब्जेक्ट्स एज वेल एज अदर पीपल इन द किंगडम then dasharatha on seeing the compassionate rama and all his ability to become the future king has decided to put him in the position as the future heir to the throne and had summoned all his people in order to get their opinion and that the uh, meeting is continuing in ringing tones king dasharatha addresses the leader of the will see that before him appearing walks the light in their hearts when the aged monarch began to speak his words resembled the beat of drums or the crashing crashing of thunder head they were filled with great sweetness with all and utter in the manner of a king he said it is well known to you that this vast empire was held by my predecessors and their orders before them promote prosperity and felicity of the kingdom formerly protected by the kings of kwaku i walking in the path of pardon by my forebears have preserved it to the utmost having passed 60000 years under the royal canopy my body has become old and feeble and seeks repose burdens of state not able to be sustained by those of uncontrolled mind who are born and now i am weary today therefore with approval of the learned brahmins present here and for the good of my people i desire to surrender the dominion to the protection of my eldest son possessing every essential virtue sri ramachandra my beloved son equal to indra in prowess and the conqueror of his enemies excelling in every virtue resembles the moon accompanied by pushyas Ah. I desire to install as regent Rama, exalted among men, elder brother of Lakshmana, worthy to be your protector. In fact, I verily believe that not only earth but the three worlds will regard him as their lord, desiring the joy of the universe. i shall lay upon him the weight of government and thus be freed from anxiety concerning the kingdom if this seems proper to you do me your counsel or say what should be otherwise be done though this is my decree what should you or don't find else is to be a better way then speak that i may know about that this course is well known to be determined after careful deliberation hearing the words of king dasharatha the more other monarchs and elders cried in unison excellent excellent upon this a sound like distant thunder pleasant to hear or like the cry of peacocks delighting in the storm arose Thereafter, the purpose of the sovereign being communicated to all. A few acclamations burst forth that shook the foundations of the palace. Then the learned Brahmins, the ministers, kings, and elders of the city assembled for consultation with those who had come from far. and being of one mind, after due deliberation, thus addressed the king. O mighty sovereign you have ruled for thousands of years and have now become old do you therefore do yourself therefore appoint rama as regent 
it is our cherished desire that the glorious prince rama should be seen by us riding on an elephant beneath the royal canopy king wishing to fathom their true motives replied with tondo tondo saying king on my suggestion you have all expressed your willingness to see rama pointed as regent but there is still some uncertainty in my mind tell me frankly why you desire to see rama being crowned how i yelled anywhere how i failed to govern righteously because he anyway anyway interested in making rama as a region but he still want to know was it because of his own failure that the people are expecting a change was it because rama is equally great like dasharatha that is why they need the change then the elders of the people and the counselors answered the sagacious sovereign dasharatha in this wise o king your son is endowed with excellent attributes here of the divine and amiable qualities of the wise and perfect ramachandra qualities endearing him to all and pleasing to record in this way and zeal for yatra he is equal to indra you yourself thinking art exalted you are exalted above all in the house of ekwaku but none in the world practices righteousness as does shri rama by his conduct he has added luster to virtue and prosperity diffusing happiness among his people he resembles the moon delighting the earth in forbearance he is like the earth in wisdom he is like brahaspati in valor like indra with deep regard for truth free from envy and jealousy his disposition is excellent for giving every injury the comfort comforter of afflicted and the distressed he trust all with gentleness acknowledging every favor received in full measure self control true to his words whatever betide speaking no ill of others as kind of utterance full of wisdom he ever revels the aged of immeasurable renown shri rama whose glory and splendor constantly increase who in the signs of archery is superior even to the gods asuras and men who has studied all the branches of learning and the veda is also unequaled in the art of music a board of peace and prosperity ever courteous humble and wise and who having received the highest instruction from the brahmins is skillful in expounding the meaning of the veda while in company with lutsmana he goes to the attack storming towns and villages he never withdraws without wholly defeating the enemy returning triumphant he enquires of the the welfare of his subjects as if they were his own sons and gives special thought to the well-being of women servants and his disciples as the father regards the needs of his family the great king sri rama graciously inquires respecting our own disciples whether they render us proper services and hospitality and further discharge their duties faithfully he suffers with the afflicted and rejoices like a parent when his people hold a festival that mighty archer the observer of death the servant of the aged who blesses all those who seek his protection is only righteous performing noble deeds he will not hear or utter words that create discord possessing a charming brow and large eyes 
when this resembling Vishnu himself, Rama, by the process of production, is able to converse with eloquence by his courage, powers, self-reliance, and patience, he has become the delight of his people. Ever ready to serve his subjects, scorning sensual pleasures, he is able to rule the three worlds. How much more this tiny earth! His joy and anger are never excited without cause. He destroys those meriting death, shows mercy to the innocent, liberal to those who have found favor with him, willing to suffer in the exercise of self-control, beloved of his subjects, he evokes devotion in every virtuous heart. Brilliant as the moon by reason of his excellent attributes, the earth claims him as her lord. O king, you are fortunate in possessing this great sun who resembles Kashyapa, the son of Marichi. The people of Ayodhya and the citizens of the kingdom of Kosala continually pray for Rama's life and well-being. Men, women, the aged, and those from far and near, at dawn and eventide, nightedly pray to all the gods that Sri Rama may ever be attended by prosperity. O great king, graciously update to our request, O giver of boons, we beg you to install Sri Rama as regent without delay. Your son, resembling the Vishnu himself, is benevolent and generous to all, hoping do this with a cheerful mind. Thus ended chapter 2 of Ayodhya Kanda in Ramayana. In that, we have seen how Dasharatha got the permission from all his subjects as well as his various counselors and other. Uh, officers. We also took their opinion regarding why exactly they allow for a change from Dasharatha into Rama. Was it because Dasharatha is not proving to be a good king? No, he is. He has already proved as an excellent king. They wanted to have Rama as their new future king so that he continue the legacy of Dasharatha. Only after a due approval from his people, Dasharatha is trying to install Rama. Observe here, it is not necessary for the king to take the consent of his sons, take the consent of his queens, consent of any of his relatives to install the next king, because the king belongs to the country and the king should be decided by the people of the country, by the people who manage the country, and not by their kids and the kin who are only, who only enjoys the fruits of the kingdom. Namaste Sharada Devi, Kashmir Puravasini, Pramaham Vartaye Nityam, Hudhyadhanan Chadehime. Goodbye.